National Library of Medicine Congress reviewed studies that highlight these essential properties of these ingredients. Let's start with extremely simple items like elderberry extract. And it brings me to this study, another one from PubMed, entitled Randomized Study of the Efficacy and Safety of Oral Elderberry Extract in the Treatment of Influenza A and B Virus Infections. And they actually conclude, at first they were saying, well, you know, it's been used in folk medicine for centuries and used to treat colds and sinus infections and have antiviral activity against the flu. But they actually conclude in their research, this is on PubMed, this is the journal, uh, the open source uh, journal operation in which all the major schools actually worship and listen to. They conclude, elderberry extract seems to offer an efficient, safe, and cost-effective treatment for influenza, the flu. These findings need to be confirmed in a larger study. And I completely, completely agree. They do need to be confirmed in a larger study. Unfortunately, we're not going to see that because there's no money to be made in elderberry. There's no money to be made in ginger. There's no money to be made in actually helping people get iodine for Big Pharma, who makes billions upon billions of dollars selling things like Tamiflu, which they just increased the expiration date for, and we know it's toxic. The government subsidized it. Uh, the UK and the United States spent billions of dollars giving the drug companies more money so they can pump Tamiflu, which does not help the flu. Let's continue on to these studies. Here we can see, just I pulled, I went online, I pulled just about four pages from PubMed, and these are the amount of studies that I found just on elderberry. Elderberry significantly reduces the duration of infection from influenza in a safe manner. Keywords, safe manner. Elderberry stimulates cytokine production in the healthy immune system to fight off viral infection. It even protects against HIV. Okay, so not only are we talking about building up the immune system with these manospinning lectins to shut down Ebola, elderberry itself, the herbal extract, elderberry, fights against HIV and can turn it off according to these studies. Again, online in PubMed, National Library of Medicine. Elderberry flavonoids bind to and prevent H1N1 infection as well in vitro. Sulfate and olive leaf have been found to block HIV replication. Elderberry green tea and cinnamon extracts rich in certain flavonoid compounds were shown to block HIV-1 entry and infection. These are organic compounds that can be found throughout the world, in the ground, eat them, put them in your mouth. It's as simple as that. That's why Big Pharma does not like it. And, you know, it occurred to me driving in the car actually to the studio today that I'm upset. I'm upset because Big Pharma can go and say you need flu shots and you need Tamiflu and you need Prozac, which they knew actually caused suicide. And a Harvard researcher came out and said that people were being treated like guinea pigs. They're making billions upon billions. Sure, they have to pay a few million dollars in fines, but that means nothing to them. Bottom line, their profit, pff, out of this world. And I'm upset because I'm showing you research and I'm helping explore all of this in these cheap, cheap, cheap options, virtually free options to help prevent these issues. And you know, it makes me just wanna push the organic natural products that we've created even harder. And now make up your own decisions with these products. We went out, we looked at all of the research. We decided for ourselves that we're going to offer two things. Number one, we're going to offer alternatives. That's why we created InfoWars Life and created Right Side, because Right Side, in my, in my mind, there are two sides you can join right now. You can join the establishment, you can go out, and you can get all the recommended shots, and you can get all the recommended pharmaceutical drugs, or you can join, in my mind, the Right Side and take your health, your intellectual abilities into your own hands and decide what you're going to do with your own health, or you can go ahead and listen to Obama. In my mind, I'm passionate about natural organic substances. I'm passionate about reading studies that receive like $5,000 to find that certain compounds block HIV when we could fund them with the money that Big Pharma is getting through the government buying Tamiflu for billions of dollars. Can you imagine what we did? What would happen if we spent billions of dollars to research elderberry extracts? That's why I'm proud. I am proud to push InfoWars Life at InfoWarsLife.com and I'm proud to push the new right side line of ancient defense because I'm proud of all the ingredients that we source that are ultra clean, ultra pure, that are free of GMOs throughout the InfoWars Life product line. And I'm proud of every single ingredient that's put on there through the formulators like Dr. Group, who knows what he's doing, 25 years of formulating, can go in and tear up any ingredient list on any product. But here's ours, certified, approved, Dr. Group standard and beyond. And I'm proud of that. And I encourage everyone to look up all this information for themselves. 
because we can't actually tell you many of the things that these products do. We cannot, under FDA law, tell you many of these things that we've seen and I believe the products do. You can look at the reviews online at InfoWarsLife.com. You can watch the people's videos um, on YouTube telling you all the things that uh, X2 Nation Iodine has done. And you can also trust that this is a quality brand we put our name behind. Ancient Defense was created with all this research, with this understanding, with key formulators, and I encourage you to check out InfoWarsLife.com and check out Ancient Defense from the new right side line. You can join the establishment or you can take your health and your intellectual decisions into your own hands. I'm Anthony Gucciardi and I encourage you to take everything into your own hands and not join with the demons. City of Austin tap water versus filtered City of Austin tap water. I can like taste dirt in it. God knows what's in this. This has an aftertaste. Tastes like Austin water? Yeah, it does. Ugh. These people just sampled City of Austin tap water straight from the faucet. Next, we had them try a sample of tap water filtered through the ProPure G2.0 filtration system. High quality H2O. That one is better. Tastes like nothing. Yep, I know what good water tastes like. It's good water. Most tap water contains added substances like fluoride, chlorine, Monsanto's deadly pesticide, glyphosate, and many others. Studies prove that these substances are linked to an assortment of major health issues, including tooth decay, lowered IQ, and even cancer. It tastes like you're drinking out of the lake when you're drinking tap water. Yeah, it has uh, that uh, processed flavor to it. The ProPure G2.0 filtration system removes these deadly substances and many more, leaving only fresh tasting, deliciously clean water. Okay, this is very tasty. It's good water. Refreshing. It's good. <laughs> Go to InfoWarsStore.com today. Use promo code WATER and save 10% off your ProPure purchase. Again, that's InfoWarsStore.com or call 1-888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.